Have you been wanting to create a grid listing report? Let me show you how. Hey everyone, welcome to JotForm, I'm Kimberly, and the grid listing report can be useful in many different ways, but one of the most popular ways is as soon as someone completes a submission, if you have this grid list on your website, it automatically populates and updates on your website. So let's walk through how to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and choose my first form. I'm gonna go ahead and click the checkbox. And up at the top under reports, I'm going to choose add a new report. From here over on the left, I'm going to choose grid listing. Now on this screen, we have three different sections. The first one is going to be the report name. If you want to change the name of this report, definitely do that here. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as welcome form grid listing. The second section is going to be the field. It's gonna automatically populate with select all. So all of the fields will be populated in your grid listing. If you don't want something included, this is the time to uncheck those boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck the submission ID and the submission IP. I really don't need that for this. And then down at the bottom, we have some configurations. The first one is going to be if you want it to be password protected. The second is if your users are uploading a photo, if you want the photo to be displayed instead of a link, show edit URLs will give you another column with a link specifically to that form if you need to edit it. Next, if you want them to be in the same frame. And the last one is going to be the auto fit grid report to the window. And I definitely want that to happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that button. If you wanna change the maximum height, you can do that in pixels. I'm gonna go ahead and click create. And it's as simple as that. You can see that we have both a link to view, which we are going to take a look at, or we have the iframe code, and this is what you can embed in your website, so that way it automatically populates without you having to do anything. So let's go ahead and click on Open Report to take a look. And there you go. If you have any questions about creating your grid listing report, please let us know, and I'll see you next time.